Hi guys, hope you're having a fine day. So, um, after our first video discussing a uh, way to beat the most boring meta in the game, that being of course Malak in his Dark River team, uh, I thought I could bring you something else uh, about beating the other really boring meta in the game, that being Rebels in Fleet Arena. Mainly because of this guy right here. So, we all know that a million pile can be a pain in the ass, and uh, we all know that uh, if you don't have your own million pile, you can't really compete against uh, full fledged rebel teams. Well, I'm gonna try to prove this wrong today. So, um, not long ago, I started to watch uh, It's Just Ian's videos. Uh, he makes a lot of great content about uh, Padme teams in general, and also he started making some about uh, beating uh, Minion Falcon and Rebels with Mace Windu. Uh, so I thought that was pretty great. And he does that uh, using a uh, comb that is not mine, because he uses Rex uh, in his first, uh, first slot, and I don't have him. So I was thinking to myself, and I was like, well... I love the idea because you know um, you play your rebels, you play your uh, bigs and bistan and uh, million falcon, and uh, well, that kind of leaves you with a lot of good ships you can do stuff with. So um, what he proved me was that with a very small investment, you could actually be good teams. But he actually has a lot better ships than me, and was like, "Will it work? Will I be able to make something work?" out of what I have. And as you can see right here, like, my Xanadu Blood isn't maxed out, nor is my Mace Windu right here, he's, uh, he's not year 12, um, and I guess ship is not even 7 stars. So yeah, would I be able to, will I be able to beat a million Falcon with that? And well, as it turns out, let me just show you the video. So, um, I, I just go in a fight with that, uh, I'm at the top of my uh, fleet arena shard with uh, my rebels usually, and so there is some good uh, pistons and bigs comes flying around, so there is that. But uh, Kaido Ren and Maz being as fast as he is, he actually, uh, almost every time, uh, yeah, he uh, play first every time, so you can stun piston. He won't hide right now, and you start walking on him a bit, so then you have to go for bigs because, well, he has stones. Uh, there, the the fact that um, uh, he may, uh, that well, sorry, it was a hard. Uh, Akbar didn't use his AOE doesn't really make a big of a difference uh, because well, you have Arm Sooth, so yeah, he wouldn't die anyway. So then you can just keep working, and then we're gonna use Cat Bane's AOE, hoping to target lock uh, Bistan right here. Uh, and well, continue working on the team. So you see that I don't get target lock. The point would have been if I had target lock and Biston, this area right here would have damaged him too. But well, alas, it didn't. So then you just keep working on the team, you know, rebels do their stuff, and Hound Zeus is great. I mean, the boring meta isn't really Han Solo, that's Hound Zeus. So then I use Ebon Hawk. And it gets rid of everything they have, and Bistan is open again. So, uh, Adi got the first target lock uh, from Cat Bane's, uh, Cat Bane's AoE. He would be low enough, actually, right now, that I might just take him out with a basic. So, the point of Ebon Hawk is um, if you fucked up that first part, or if RNG fucked you up, you can still just clear everything. everything. Uh, if of course, if Auntus is on the field, it maybe won't work if you have uh, if you have bridge somewhere. So this comp works really better against the Bistan comp. But then uh, Evan Hawk is here, and he gives you a lot of turn meter actually. So he will make you play faster than Bistan. So Bistan really doesn't want to die, and he's finally taken out. So again, had I got that first target lock. Bistan would have been dead quite a while ago, and I could have started working uh, on Millennium Falcon, maybe. Because I could maybe get, you know, a stun or something. Or just keep working on bigs, that's fine. And then Mace is really good at something else. That's um, making Houndstooth a freaking huge tank. Just look at this. 
Here you go. So now you have to clean that up again if you want to make Hauntus fall. So yeah, Hauntus and Mace are really, really good together. So you just need the rest of the team to be able to take down Rebels. So now they are, they are uh, own Hounds to sit in the field. But, I mean, I will just keep working on base. And uh, I, basically you just want to have uh, Evan Hawk keep using basic. You just want to get that turn meter flowing. Especially if, like me, uh, your ships are not uh, are not full, your ships are under gear, they are, you know, you have bad pilots and stuff. So now that's the time to make Anakin come in. And, well, he's just 6 stars, but yeah, just look at that damage. So I fucked up here, uh, because I should have targeted Bosk, uh, because the AoE would have uh, maybe landed, you know, buff immunity and healing immunity. But even then, now the fight is going so well that it doesn't really matter. So again, as this time maybe the AoE from Agba would have taken out the slicer. So there is that. But again, wouldn't make that big of a difference in the long run. Just keep working. So now I'm really thinking to myself, oh fuck, I really should have targeted that with Anakin the first time. Just look at that huge damage Anakin does. Even 6 stars. Again, this is a 6 stars ship. Classic Rebels. Doing classic Rebel stuff. And yep. And boom! Slicer also does a ton of damage. And now that I can just use Ultimate, well, I feel pretty safe. Because that protection is undisplayable, so Falcon can just like blow through. And I can just keep protecting my Houndsuit. Feel pretty good. The ultimate isn't that gonna do squat. Like, just look at that. Tanking like a boss. E even even Kylo Ren is just tanking everything like a freaking boss. Finally he goes down. So that's that's the first ship that's down. That's pretty amazing. Not just for funsies, I can bring that's okay. And I use I I love uh, Lando. I love uh, Lando's Millennium Falcon. So maybe if I would have put him in there, he would have just finished the game. But well, oh well. Let's just have a bit more fun. You know, bashing rebels. That's pretty fun. Here you go. And on that's just Minion Falcon, so I can just press auto. Oh, and yeah, you know, I press auto and then this happens. Eh. Doesn't really make that big of an impact anyway. I mean, just look at that. That was 62k on a normal hit. Thank you, Anakin. And here you go. Finally, he uses an AoE, but that really doesn't make that big of an impact either. And no Lando comes in and finishes him off. So, uh, the point of this video is not to tell you, oh, that's the ultimate counter, that's something you should definitely play in Arena. No, that's not it. Uh, the point of this video is to show you that first, uh, it's just Tian is a great guy and he has some great ideas, uh, link in the description. Uh, but then, it's also to show you that uh, even with uh, undergeared ships and undergeared pilots, I mean, uh, just look at my cat bay. That's that that's not a good pilot. That's a gear eight cat bane on a level eighty two ship that is not maxed out. Um, that's again a six star Anakin. So that damage was well, the pilot is good, but the damage was still pretty frightening. So yeah, the idea is um, now that you can use that uh, in Grand Arena or even in territory wars, uh, territory wars, sorry, uh, that allows you to have your rebels on defense, like you just, you know, the usual, like you go, you go Akbar, you go Biston, you go Biggs, and then you put uh, Phantom and Ghost and whatever you want, uh, like Cassian, back there, and you can still use Mace with this comp to take the other team down. So again, with this comp, you can take. Uh, 
uh, neck bar with a falcon down. If it has the houndstooth, tooth, it might be a bit trickier because if you have um, if you have breach on yourself, you're going to have to clean that out. So if that's on your own houndstooth, tooth, and it probably will be, that's not a big deal because you know it will clear it itself. But it works. Just target Beaston first, uh, so he can't really give turn meter to to the rebel team, and then give your own team a lot of turn with turn with Ebon Hope. Again. My team was really in the lead. I mean, just again, look at endurance too. This is not maxed out at all. This is a very bad pilot. Well, very bad, you know, all things considered. Uh, it's not maxed out by any means. The ship isn't maxed out by any means. Catbane was very bad. And yet, here we stand. I do agree that um, the fight went quite well for me. But when you see how poor my ships were, the fact that it works is pretty amazing. So yeah, voila!